It's Giles Peterson. Giles Peterson Worldwide. Turn on Giles Peterson. Giles Peterson. Vogue.nl is where you're at right now. My name's Giles Peterson, outside the Bird Club, well actually the back of the Bird Club, in the Rotterdam area of the Netherlands. Happy New Year, 2013 and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> You've been all over the world selecting and enjoying music from Br Brooklyn to Benin. Ooh. How do you experience Rotterdam? Rotterdam, you know what? I love it. Every time I come here, it's a great place. It's a good people here. It's like, you know, I always thought that the Dutch were special for the DJ, you know? It's never the same. What I love about being a DJ is that every place is different. So far, this is my third time in about three years, and I haven't started yet, but it feels good. What's the most extraordinary place you've been to, like a bar mitzvah? Could, could you tell us something about that? Last year I went to so many amazing places, you know. I did a party, last year I did a, a, a party on, Sh on Sugarloaf Mountain in Rio. I did a party um, in Bali on the beach on full moon. I did, uh, I did, you know, a crazy cave thing in Serbia. I mean, you know, this is the blessing. I'm so privileged to have the job that I have where I can get to play music in these amazing settings. But then also I play in these kind of horrible sort of subterranean places. Last week I was in Leeds, underneath a sort of decrepit old shopping center. It smelt, the sound was heavy, but it was concrete, you could smell the piss. But you know. An immense contrast. Differences, but it was a great vibe. So, you know, I like it all really. Uh, you once got sacked for condemning the war in Iraq. Uh, have you become uh, cautious of mingling in politics ever since. Um, yeah. <laughs> How come? Well, no, you know, you have to be careful. You have to remember what you're here for. And, you know, my role is probably somebody who is, um, you know, about music. And I think that, you know, that's my skill and my sort of speciality. And I think when you start preaching your thoughts, political or otherwise, to people beyond what your skill is, then you're kind of treading dangerous water unless you're really expert in that field. So for me, yeah, I have my views, but I keep them private. I'm, I'm lucky, man. I've got a passion in life and I'm still passionate about it. And and you know, I like to be able to, you know, I've had a privileged life to be able to travel and to bring UK club culture beyond, to be able to join old and the new and to be able to bring new life to a lot of older musicians who might have been missed or not really got the credit they deserved. So for me, there's a lot of pleasure in being able to work with people and give them more of an opening and to be able to use my platform to help people in music, you know. I was lucky when I was young. I went to a club and the DJ was playing Mr. PC by John Coltrane. I was 16 years old, the DJ was Bob Jones, and that changed my life. And then I went to another club and another DJ called Paul Murphy was playing Art Blakey and Night in Tunisia. And when I heard those records, I knew what I wanted to do, and that was to tell and to teach that music, the heritage of music, to more people. So that's what my job is, and that is what my role is. And if I can bring people closer to the, to the sounds of Love Supreme or, or you know, or Monin or Andy Bay or Charles Mingus or Terry Callier or whatever, then that's my role. I'm a messenger. If you are my love, I know I can't always be home. 